Okay. Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome to the evening dance talk show. And under the void deck. Yeah. So we talked about doing this for very long already, but then like we haven't really got around doing it. So now we're gonna do this. Yes. Um. Probably we're gonna do it under Richard's house. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's the most easiest setup can be. Just then, you don't have to worry about anything. And then if you all want to come and join in, just come join in the fun now. Yeah. Huh? We'll buy some taping or kopi, then we just discuss it. At least it's not in Jurong anymore. Uh, yeah. I moved to Hao Kang. Okay. Welcome to the Hao Kang hood. So anyway, um, yeah, so we are going to talk about some stuff with our dance. Um, maybe throw shade at people, I don't know, but hey, you know. <gasps> no, later I get cancelled. Later you get cancelled, how? But then I just cancel me, just cancel me, you know, just cancel me. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, now it's 2024. Yeah, 2024. Three years, four years after COVID. So what do you think? How, how do you think a dance have ch how dance events have changed over the last few years, like before COVID and now like post COVID? What do you think? Oh. Um, I think when COVID hits, right, mm. we definitely hit a reset button yeah. for everybody, and then like, um, we kind of like, I would say, take our time to slowly recover from the COVID effect, and I think I'm just very happy now we can still have those uh, big competitions back, like. LCDC yeah. or Super Twenty Four, RFM is back, but unfortunately yeah. it's no longer in Singapore. It's in Vietnam now. But um, other than that, I think we are now at the phase where battles are coming back, but not as much as where we were last yeah, time when it was much, peak. Yeah. Like I remember back then before COVID, there's so many events that clash. Mm. Like in one day, there's two events or three mm. events. Even like not just here in JB even oh, yeah. so that's like true, true. there's so many things going on, yeah. but I think I would say um, the response now for dance is definitely better because like TikTok mm. TikTok help a lot during COVID period mm. to kind of like normalize yeah. enjoy, uh, you know normalize uh, consuming dance digitally. So I think people are more, I think, used to consuming dance and understanding dance. Yeah. So like now I think the interest is also getting there. Yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah yeah. Sounds about right. Wait, pause. I'm gonna take you water. Okay. <laughs> For four years, right? It's been so long, right? That you became a Singaporean PR. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's uh. That's not much of the event, but yeah. I I became a media. Actually, I should have said I started working for another company, uh -huh. <laughs> but I still help out for dance. So yeah, life moves on. So, and yeah, I agree. There really is a very little events nowadays. I mean, last time I remember when we were doing, suddenly there's get down, then there's lock down, then there's lock city, then there's wax city. Wow, it was like yeah, a lot. Now it's very little. Now we can re relax a bit. Then she's gonna go RF. Then we come back. We have just a whacking event. We have like yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Cause I think there's last time there's a lot of more. Um, it's not just local event, but also franchise event where like you mentioned, Wax City, Lock City, all these are from overseas. Then they bring it to in Singapore the qualifiers. So yeah, I miss those. Yeah, for those who didn't know, we used to have dance dance at life. Oh yeah, we Singapore used to have, dance delight. Ah, uh, Singapore dance delight. Yeah. Still got what? Uh, we still had Gatsby at some point in time. Gatsby. Ooh, yeah, Gatsby, Gatsby was pretty big at that point in time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we used to have like pre like decent chunks of big events, but uh, you know we gotta move on. Maybe maybe you will be the one organizing the next big event. Who knows, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and we also have our own event technically. <laughs> yeah, you'll see our event. Yeah, yeah. Our dance film festival. Yeah, lor. Yeah. So yeah. So now let's do back twenty twenty three. What was your most memorable event in twenty twenty three? I feel like the easy answer is RF Jam. Yes, for sure. Um. I went to RF in Vietnam. I went with you also. You do your pre-wedding shoot. It was very fun. Yep. Um, I think RF Jam is also a good. It was really amazing time where we can reconnect with so many international dancers again. Mm. Yeah. Like Kai or like John or like uh Josh and mm. Vivian. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it was fun to be able to meet. Oh, even Johnny. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out Johnny, Johnny. Ayal, all of them. Yeah, Ayal. Yeah. So. I think um, RFJM was very iconic, of course. Uh, other than that, I would say Super 24 because oh. Super 24 finally moved to Singapore Indoor Stadium. Mm. So technically, it's the biggest dance event in terms of space. Yeah. Yeah. That hole there. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll be a bit biased. Like, I think the best event last year for me was just an event. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll enough. be a bit biased. Uh, because the format was, was a bit was a bit random. Uh, so I but end up having a very randomized uh format end up being very good. So hopefully you'll see just an event in 2025 where we finish all the qualifiers again. <laughs> Wait, so explain to the audience what is a uh, what is the unique concept of just an event? So just an event, we, we just we just started um when 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 Carissa, my wife started just a biking event and then uh it was just because of COVID, then they started the event, then uh just wanted to have an event with online so people online audition, then they come to the place and then audition. Mm. Then out of randomness after finishing just a whacking event, just a popping event, just a locking event, the organizers was like, hey, why not just let's just do just a event? I know the, the, the grammar the grammar is wrong, it should be just an event, but whatever, right? <laughs> just a event, right? So it's just a event, right? So we just thought like everybody just come and gather, we get the seeded winners come in. And then the funniest part is that when we make them draw cards, so they think that oh they're gonna partner with each other, everybody thought like, oh, Ace Spade is going to partner Ace Heart and it's going to partner Ace Club. Uh-huh. So that's all what they thought. Yeah. But end up we actually re- we, we put a slide and then we had everything shuffled. So Ace Club could partner J Club. Uh, Ace Spade could partner like J Hearts versus like... Plot Twist. Yeah, Plot Twist. So nobody actually knew who, who they partner with, which led to very interesting outcomes and led to very interesting uh, tags. So I think that event was fun for me. Nice. And hopefully uh, my wife and you know and the rest will, will probably want to do another round of it again. Uh. So that's why that was my memorable event. Even though, yes, I think RLJ would be the easier answer. Yeah, definitely. Textbook answer. Textbook answer, RLJ was fun. Let me know check my camera. Yeah. So Richard, while you're walking, walking back, um, so where are you looking forward to what event are you looking forward to this year? And maybe say any place that you want to travel to for any events this year. Oh, I really want to watch Red Bull BC1 because they just announced the BC1 tour in Asia. Mm. Mm. Like, we haven't had BC1 qualifying in Southeast Asia for many, many years. Wow, it's been long. I think it used to be with RF, right? Like, the- yeah, yeah. So it's like six or seven years easily. Mm. But I'm very happy that they finally opened it up. Then, um, the winner will represent South Asia. So mm. I'm very interested to see like yeah. who will get it. Because like over the past few years I think we saw very strong individual coming up from each country mm. that neighboring country. So like I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I really want to travel more to I, I think I told you before, right? Uh, Southeast Asia have so many hidden talents mm. and like I feel I would love to be uh, somebody to like discover new talents and then at least put it out the world and see like, hey, this country have different different kind of like, you know, yeah. talented people. I agree. Yeah, for me, it's line up if I can. Oh, def- line up. I definitely want to go line up this year. Um, I think line up is probably the most well produced event from a viewing standpoint. I mean, I know Rainbow BC one is is a thing right with the tv stations and stuff but yeah. i feel like for uh more i mean and it's usually just uh, and obviously what's the one uh, dance your style dance your style dance your style but yeah. i think from from another perspective i think um line up from a uh, post event pre-event all their marketing materials yeah. how they set up and they and the event lasts for three days which i find it mesmerizing you know they you audition one day then the next day you need better like Wait, they only have one uh, day for just audition yeah one day just for audition oh, means there's a lot of people. and then they might do top 16 if i remember correctly okay. then the next day they will do um top eight and top i uh, know they will do top and top eight just dance one round then the last one they just do top four and finals that's it so split over a few days the event only lasts for like a couple of hours which is quite fun so which encourage people to go explore Guangzhou more. I thought that idea was quite fresh, you know, because you're, you're technically forcing dancers to explore and spend money in Guangzhou, which is which is genius, la. I think it's quite genius. Maybe it, one day another country or city might adopt this mindset where like, you know, mm. you you put in money to, to do a dance event where you somehow end up forcing dancers to stay there for extended period of time. Because I mean, what's the point, right? If I go there, then I come back to Seoul, I so I just stay there for a couple of days, enjoy the event more. Wait, yeah. so do they actually work with the tourism? Uh, they work with the Guangzhou tourism people. Oh, That's why people will end up. So the hotels will be fully booked out most of the time. Smart. Yeah, then after that, uh, because even if I'm out, I'll just stay in Guangzhou, explore the area. Then next yeah. day, i watch the event. Then I've never been to Korea. Maybe I should go. You should, you should. <laughs> after, after going to Korea recently, I'm, I'm hooked. I love Korea. So 
I'm, I, I, I can't wait to go to line up. Hopefully, time permits, I'll definitely mm. want to go Korea. Mm. So that would be my number one, nice. I think. Nice. Yeah, so that'd be mine. Wow. Talk oh, maybe about... talk about recent events. Let's just talk about recent events. Okay. Yeah. How about, what do you think about Ladies Call? Oh, what? Well, okay. Recent event. Ladies Call is my first event that I filmed since <laughs> RF Gem. <laughs> yeah, that's long. <laughs> that's really long. I mean, obviously, I work for another. I work for a big media company now, mm. so it's very mm. hard for me to film dance, dance events. But ladies' call was something that I really wanted to film. Yeah, he specifically texted me, Richard. We are recording ladies' call. Please let me be cam up. Okay, yeah. sure. Truth be told, now, now, now the full expose. I think some videographers might agree with me. Filming dance event is really tiring, and you will fall asleep at your camera. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it is, it is. Because you're always focused all the time. Yeah, yeah because your, your eyes are so focused. So a lot of times I, I fall asleep during certain rounds, especially during like the middle of top 16 rounds. So easy to just lose focus. But I think for ladies call, every battle was so good. Mm. Everything was so fun to watch. I, I enjoyed it from start to end. Mm. Never felt like I was falling asleep. Mm. I was like, wow, this is very, very nice. Ah. I think for me, uh, what was really fun about ladies call was that uh, the skill level was very very high much higher than just even like a standard hip-hop battles which i think was amazing mm. a lot of times you know, i i don't know whether is there this prejudice or whatever but oh my god the ladies are crazy mm. my personal favorite judge showcase was mata oh i thought her judge showcase was just hits i just hits nice. hopefully this event gets more people to, to this event hopefully Xiaomi has the energy after giving birth to a kid to do one more yeah, time yeah it's crazy man like she's at which 8 months, eight she's, months. Eight months really, yeah. she's 8 months pregnant and she's still <laughs> organizing event and hosts these judges like overseas dancers like it's so crazy how do you get the energy uh, if, I, if I'm KS I'm like also like, very worried <laughs> what, you like? what you want to do what you want yeah. to do but okay lah I mean she's happy and yeah happy wife happy life yeah lor yeah but yeah, I think um, it's so rare to have even like ladies call because like for people to actually fly to Singapore like for your event, I think it's a huge achievement by yeah. itself. Like there must be something special that your event have mm. that people are actually willing to spend money in then. And I can see that like how how like all the different countries ladies, they just born really fast yeah. and they team up with many many different countries mm. and come up with three v three groups, and yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's like. I, every year you think that ladies call wouldn't get bigger it somehow it somehow just surpasses it like this one was just at least was way bigger than the one where, where it was at uh, escape uh, escape uh, fight. Yeah, yeah i was like wow that was really quite sick wow this one even crazier so i was like wow yeah oh. uh I, I, what is that next year is the 10 year anniversary yeah so oh. if you all are hearing this ladies come down to singapore join ladies call i think that's a very good event to join yeah yeah, so anyway, now it's like the TikTok time. I'm calling it TikTok time, you know. What so it's TikTok time. TikTok time. So all these clips will be uh, in short form, like, you know. Like, okay. yeah, you get some, you can enter to edit it to short oh, form. Oh, we are now. watching something. Yeah, so, so, so if someone, or if someone, uh, if someone, oh. uh, when, when you tell whoever edit this part, then this part is like TikTok, very fast game one. Okay. Okay, so no RGM is coming, right? Yeah. If you can draft your 3v3, Ooh. who will you draft? So. There must be a parameter or like no, just draft your favorite. Genre. Yeah, any genre like you must, you must just you must. Then the audience can decide whether who will win. Oh okay. wait, this is the three v three all star. Three v three all star. Okay. Three v three all star. So you have the draft first or I draft first. So the the drafting okay. sequence is one two two one. Why is this Dota? Like Dota, like that. Then fair ma. <laughs> okay. Like that. Then fair ma. Okay. Uh, okay. But I don't know who's coming, but okay. Can no, you can just assume that anybody is coming. What the fuck? Okay. If you can draft your top, if your best 3v3 lineup, That's who so would it be? That's so tough. Okay. Yeah. Uh... This one is easy already. Like. We make it mixed. Like. If it's, um, if it's uh, gender-based, then maybe it'll be difficult. Asian countries only? Or like, uh, okay, every, all countries. Worldwide. 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 Like. worldwide, worldwide. Let's oh, just shit. do it worldwide. Okay, let's go. You let's go, go first. I go first. For my first pick, I pick Danzel. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was my first pick. <laughs> First pick, I pick Danzel. <laughs> Damn, okay. You can uh, pick two. Uh, first pick, Empty Pop. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, Empty Pop. Empty ah! Pop. Empty Pop. Okay, 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 okay. Then you're for your second pick. Uh, I go second. Uh. Yeah, you can go again. Ah, shit. Uh, uh, um, um, I need, we are, we have the function. Oh shit, I wanted to pick Empty Pop. I thought you were going to miss Empty Pop. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wow, yeah. Okay, okay. I will pick Lego Sam. 
because oh. he's very versatile also with many different music. Oh, so, that's a good. Wow, that's a wow. Yeah. Southeast Asian pride, eh, This yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southeast Asia. Wow, dancers, shit, shit. I picked Danzel. Right? Wow, who, who yeah. am I picking? Wait, 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 wait. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, for my second pick, I'll pick Hoan. <laughs> he's probably the judge. He's okay. probably he's the judge <laughs> level. But I said anyone. Hoan is. Hoan is my second pick. Okay, but if you get break beats, it will be challenging so for you. My my for my last pick. Okay, you go first. It will be. Wow, shit. This one is tough. For my last pick, it will be... <laughs> wow, shit, this is difficult. You have you have it in your head already. Yeah, your last pick? I have, I have. Oh, shit. From... Uh... For my last pick, I will go with a locker. Locking. Oh, locking. Okay, fine. I'll go with a locker. Okay. I will go with... Actually, why would I want to pick a locker? I don't know. You're no, I'll pick hip hop. Okay, hip hop. I'll go for Batala. <laughs> oh, Batala. Okay, sure. Uh, my my hip hop pick will be 5000. Oh. <laughs> okay, comment down below. You think who will win? <laughs> so I have Danzel Ho An and Batala. You have? I have MD Pop. I have Lego Sam and I have 5,000. Wow. Oh, that's really solid, huh? Wow, oh, it's solid, it's solid, nine up, <laughs> solid, nine up. Okay, okay. Comment down below who do you think will win, okay? Yeah. I think Danzel will win them more. I think it's so <laughs> tricky because like, you need to think about the possibilities of getting different music yeah. styles. Then you must be able to get uh, somebody who is versatile enough to yeah. take care of the different music. Yeah, sometimes it's also not about like the best dancers, you know, like, Singaporeans have Miraculously won RF Gen. If you if if you look at current <laughs> yeah. context, right, you think that Singaporeans have never won RF Gen, but Singaporeans have won a lot of RF Gen before. Shout out Kai, Kai, Kai Alif, Alif. Then that time, um, and then a lot, and then if you look at previous years, like every year there will be a Singaporean in the finals. Yeah. Oh, KS also. KS was in the finals. Uh, Robin, Robin, yeah. and Nick Ho was in the finals. Oh, when was this? That was, that was with Dendi. They partnered with Dendi oh, before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was also finals. So. Yeah, yeah. There's always Singaporeans in the finals, uh, so you know, mm. don't, we, we Singaporeans also not bad one lah, huh? quite decent uh, we can still go through, go through to finals. Not, not last year lah, last year was a bit... <laughs> hey fuck off. <laughs> last year damn hard yeah, last year. Last year was tough man, like yeah. I see also like, I don't know how cool to replace. Yeah, really damn difficult. Okay, next one, let's have a fun one. So, build your ultimate hip hop dancer from Singapore. Huh? You say if you can take skill sets from different hip hop dancers to build your ultimate hip hop dancer, for a battle or for No, what? just for anything. Just a okay, maybe battle, maybe we do battle. So the five is body, technique, floor work, musicality, and battle. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, how about you? I'm a, I'm a one, uh, for my body. Okay, I'm gonna go with- Wait, what does body mean? Body, like maybe the shape, how the shape of the body oh, is. Right. Yeah. Big movement. Movement, right. Um, okay. For my- for my body, I w actually should I take body first. Yeah, for my body, I want popping Timo. <laughs> Wait, I thought hip hop. Popping body what? Like, but I think it's the best hip hop crew. But you think Timo body not good there? So uh, big, so tua. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Then my I don't take popping. I take KC. I want the biggest person. I want KC. Wait, wait. So this is not hip hop. Is no, it? it's hip hop. But I just but the body what the body is KC's body. So I my default is KC's oh, body. Oh, so you like Frankenstein? Yeah, you Frankenstein. Yeah. So my body, I want KC's body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You can see here. Okay. You can start. You can pick something else, but I will start with KC's body. So I will build off KC's body. Okay. Uh, maybe for me, I would say what. Musicality, ah. musicality first. Alif, Alif. Oh, Alif, musicality. Good choice, good choice, I mean, good choice. He's a producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Musicality. For battle, I want Xiao Mei. Okay. <laughs> Xiao Mei, when she battle, really is. Battle. Battle one. So I want battle. I want Xiao Mei's battles. Like Ooh. battle skills. Ooh. Okay, okay. Mm. Battle, huh? Okay, I want Fazil. Oh, fast you battle, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, okay. For technique. Define, so, define technique. Define technique, like maybe, uh, what, technique very difficult, like maybe like the, just general, like when you watch him, he's very hip hop, but the thing is, this also very blur, right, this line of technique, right, so my technique, I want Aaron. <laughs> 
Dude, you should pick Aaron for musicality. His musicality is crazy. Oh shit, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I choked. Never mind, I take Aaron's technique. Aaron's technique. Okay. Uh, wow. Technique. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I will say Zaiha technique. Oh, Zaiha technique. Oh, good choice, good choice, good yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah. Why okay. I'm, I'm like picking all the fucking blackness? <laughs> oh my god! For my musicality, it's my underrated version, but I take Mandy. Ah, oh, musicality. Musicality, yeah. I think Mandy. I think Mandy musicality very underrated. I think her, her, her music sense is very unique. Okay. Yeah. So so far, I have Casey's body, Xiao Mei's battle, Aaron's technique, and Mandy's musicality. You left body and, <laughs> and battle. And hey, I haven't picked. Floor work. Yeah, body and floor work. Yeah. Who was your better? Your better is Fazil, what? Oh, yeah, better is Fazil. Yeah, so you want to go for body or floor work first? Uh, I will say body. Okay, who, 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 which body you want to build off from? Rise out. Oh, shit. When he does, he's right. like, so oh, Rise out, rise out, good choice, rise out, good choice. Okay, for my floor work, I got to take Leonard. <laughs> At this point, you just choose a B-boy. Huh? Oh, I choose B-boy. Have you seen how fast Leonard's break or not? Like if you go and see last time how 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 what's the speed? Can you imagine it Casey's body but Leonard's speed? Wow. <laughs> oh. That's really insane. Um, okay, I will say floor work then flurry. Oh good choice, good choice. Flurry, yeah. The way he and do the floor work and trading this is very nice. Maybe tell tell put in the comments what's your favorite favorite uh, combination. I think this is quite fun. I think no dancer is perfect, right? Yeah. Uh, so so just to sum up, mine is uh, body KC, technique Aaron, floor work uh, Leonard, musicality uh, Mandy, battle Xiaomi. For me, the body is Rizal, technique is Zaiha, floor work is Flurry, musicality is Alif, battle is Basil. Well, it's basically. <laughs> can eat, uh, what, what is it? Uh? Yeah, Fuck you, be your nuts. Fuck you, be your nuts. <laughs> and then. Yeah. You combine together, you get that one. Okay, TikTok time is over. So now it's hate. I'm, I'm calling it currently. It's called Hater Central. So it's just Central. me being a hater. Why? 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 <laughs> At least when I hate, right, I'm putting a face to it. Okay. Shoutouts under Esplanade Bridges. <laughs> I don't even follow them. Yeah, but anyway, um, so hold up. You know, people gotta do the work to clean. You know. But anyway, welcome to Hater Central where I where I just you know spread a bit of hate, things that I don't like sometimes, you know. So for me, my number one Okay. Okay. Yes. He's not letting me hate hate. But for me, my number one most hated thing in dance event as of now is when events get two local judges and one overseas judge. Why? Why? If it if for me it it makes the overseas judge useless. Oh, if okay, because, that's a hot take. But yeah, yeah, for me, for me, when you have an overseas judge come down, you kind of want nice. he or she to have like a very um, objective view on your dance scene. Like so a new perspective. New perspective. So sometimes, a lot of times, actually, like overseas judges will end up picking someone that you might not necessarily think it's the the you might not have always thought that it's a best dancer but somehow always lack this chance to win but maybe this overseas judge like this dancer and then this dancer will be which which is good la. i think it gives different perspective but when you put two local judges it's very uh it, it will end up the two local judges will skew towards their style of dance then the then the the vote for the overseas judge doesn't matter then why you bring the overseas judge for what mm. it, a lot of times it happens where the two local judge will pick different from the overseas judge Mm. Then I'll be like, you damn waste money, yeah. <laughs> they waste money. You damn waste money, yeah. Then all the dancers will take part. It's like, yeah, I get one local, I get the overseas judge vote, but what's the point? Mm. I think it's even worse if the two local judges, right, are of dancing the same style. Oh, yeah. That yeah. that is something I hate even more. Like if I see, if if I used to better, if I see this, right, I wouldn't even bother taking part. So what's the point if I don't dance that kind of stuff? So that is my hater central uh uh hot take for me. That's me. That's me. So. I mean, I don't better anymore, so who, the f- who cares, right? But that's, that's just me. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I don't think I want to say hate. It's just pet peeve, okay? <laughs> pet peeve. I'm like the... <laughs> this, one, this one, I, I hate. I hate. Uh, I need to be on uh, neutral water, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Uh, for me, I just don't like it when event organizers have very little lights. 
just for the vibe. You know, like, <laughs> they'll excuse it like, hey, can we make it darker? Like, you know, make it dimmer. And just because, like, uh, they want to the, make it more street vibe. Yeah. But I think it's just, like, them trying to hide, yeah. like, the imperfections. Or, like, lack of crowd, maybe. Yeah, lack of crowd, whatsoever. Yeah. So it's like, and it's, another thing is, if I'm covering the event, it will be even more challenging for me to film the video or like yeah. take photo of the video because I need lights, man. Like, and if you no lights, then like, oh, your your video will look crap. Or that, no, at some point in time, I really didn't like filming at Converge because Converge really didn't have enough light at that point. Right? Yeah, it's just like the, the just, two lights, right? The class lights. It's just two class lights, then that's it, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it got better, but like at that point in time when the age and I forget what event was being filmed there, and there was a hip hop event film there, I can't remember. Uh, YMG? Maybe YMG, yeah. yeah. Then it was just like two track lights, and, yeah. and, it, and if you turn on the lights, it looks very bland. Then if you turn, if you try to put the yellow lights, it's not enough light. So it was, yeah, it was terrible. I think at that point in time, those events at Commerce Studios wasn't that nice, I think. Yeah. Well, now we have L5. It's slightly an upgrade because, like, some, we also have the ambience light, and yeah. So I think it's always important to have the light on the dance floor so that you can see the dance floor but if you want to play with the vibe i think you just need to add more ambient light so please please event organizer um factor in lights uh, factor help, in help light. us here yeah make your event look good yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so yeah that's my pet peeve okay not hate okay no, i hate i call it hate <laughs> <laughs> just call it hate i mean yeah so for event organizers out there, I don't know, but this is just my, my point of view. I feel like if you're going to put two local judges and one overseas judge, at least make the two local judges have different styles. Like at least that's how I feel. You know, it's a bit like a whole, like... Uh, maybe, do, do I sound like I'm targeting certain people? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. This is up for you to decide. But <laughs> you're going to have two, two people of the same styles, I feel it's a bit like... Uh, you might as well just do an internal jam. Mm. Hot take, hot take, okay? But that's me, okay? <laughs> also, I I also if if I want to add oh, something yeah. else, oh, that's light now. I also think that uh, rookie battles. I don't mind, mind. I don't want to say. And next time, that one is a, a topic for next time. <laughs> okay, wrap up time. Okay. So who do I see on the podcast next? <laughs> oh, um, what's the goals for this podcast after we shoot this? What's I think next? if I want to do this podcast, I want to talk about more important conversations for me, like. <laughs> How can Sorry, I'm not important one. <laughs> this combo is not important. No, I mean like, rather than just like, uh, Take all the time. <laughs> talking about like, uh, superficial stuff, yep. we can always talk about how to make it as a career here, yeah, as a, definitely. In, in, in dance, like for dance in Singapore. Like we how, start light here, we start light Yeah, here. this is, I think it's just an appetizer. Yeah. Like for me, we need that conversation, you know, like mm. the rates as a dance instructor, is it enough? Because yeah. like a lot of people actually talking about it recently. Yeah. And then, yeah, hopefully yeah. Um, we can talk to dancers as well. I think I'll talk to a lot of like uh, more famous dancers, you know, especially people from Street Woman Fighter, okay. MT Pop. I think those will be interesting to learn about Street, from their point of view. Yeah, China. Yeah. I think uh, my, my goal, if, if, if I can, if I hope can happen, I want to talk to Kyone and Mari again. Okay. Yeah, I think that is something that I hope can happen, hopefully. I don't know. I That's think I, I will never forget that backstage conversation we had long time ago. I think that was like 2015 RF Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Yeah, Summer Jam. I think that, that conversation, I think that in, in my entire film dance film journey, I think there's always two conversations that stuck with me. Yes. Number one is the Kyone Marion. Yes. Kyone, especially when he talked to us about how like turning, you know, passion into job. It's not really a passion, not really a, it's like, you know, it's quite shag, uh, mm. you know. And then the second one was the conversation with Tyrone. Mm. Yeah. Tyrone is more regretful because we had a promise to uh you know do like a proper interview, but we were like, oh we'll see you next time, like it's okay, next thing you know, COVID happened and and we uh yeah, you know pass away. Pass away. So rest, that was in, some, peace. rest in peace. So uh, that's something that I feel very regretful for. So maybe this platform is a way for, for me to, or uh, for us even and everyone to sort of have this way to document conversations with dancers. At least, you know, a few years down the road, there's always this part where you can look back at like, hey, at least I did this conversation with someone, you know? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. Please subscribe to RP Pods. Um, if you want to be on this show, just DM us. Can yeah. I just come, it's okay. I'll buy you tea. No, no budget for now, but I can buy you tea at least. <laughs> Leave some comments on what topic to discuss. Bye.